This is when you should pay attention to find fraud. Keep watching to find out when it is. I am Tracy Brown, the fraud busting body language expert. I was lucky enough to interview Holly Hoffman from season 21 of Survivor, the reality TV show. It's a high stakes game with a million dollar prize. Holly realized one thing really quickly during the game. She had to pay attention to everything all the time. People were making alliances, conniving, lying, and she was able to find lots of it. She knew more than what was immediately obvious, and it paid off big for her. You don't have to be on an island in a game show to use these tools for yourself. They're the same ones that will allow you to find lies, fraud, and identity theft hidden in plain sight. Let's hear what she has to say about it. And you know, when you play the game of Survivor, and I'm sure you find this when you research fraud as well, this isn't something that you can do, you know, two minutes out of the day. I had to observe every little situation and scenario 24 hours a day. In fact, I would take my, here's another thing, I would take my buff, Mm -hmm. And at night when we were laying in the hut, I would pull my buff down over my eyes and try to sleep. But I would lay on my side and I would always be able to look underneath my buff because people would get out of the hut at night and they would sneak off and they would talk. Oh. And one night I saw Jill and Marty get up and they were sneaking, you know, trying to be real quiet and get out of the, the hut. And they left. And the next morning we were standing around the fire, the campfire, and I said, did anybody leave the hut last night? I thought I heard somebody leave, but did anybody leave? How did everybody sleep? And everybody was like, nope, nope. And Jill oh. and Marty, nope, nope. And I knew immediately Jill and Marty were in a, an alliance. See, now that, that's really important because, it, and it's the same with, with your keynotes as, as with mine, you can, you can get a couple tips and if you go back to life and, you, and you're not heads up, this it's a lifestyle. It's not something you do 10 minutes a day or two minutes a day in a conversation, you want to know who's lying to you. You got to be heads up all the time. And it doesn't mean that you're suspicious and negative around people, but it means you need to check on what's more than immediately obvious there. And good job for asking questions and about things you knew about. She was so astute and she's right. Paying attention isn't a part-time thing. You pay attention or you pay with pain. You're gonna see things you never thought you would and uncover things you need to in order to keep your money and build your bottom line. You're really gonna love my full interview with Holly. She pulls back the curtain on how she was able to read her competition and use that info to rise to the top of this really high stakes situation. You can see it uh, on my blog right here at this link, or you can subscribe to my new fraud busting podcast on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. I'll see you next time.